there, I'm Sandy Alnock with another Lenten Bible journaling video. He must increase and I must decrease. The scripture verse is from John chapter 3, verse 30. He must become greater, I must become less. A lot of different ways that these words get translated, but there are several different ways you can apply a verse like this to your life, whether it's personally that you want Jesus to be bigger in your life, be more like him, or whether you want people that you're witnessing to to focus more on him than anything on you. So what I've done is drawn a circle just using a, a tin that I had sitting in my studio and turned my Bible so I can do this kind of off the edge. I'm picturing a center point down in the bottom where the center of the circle would be to draw those two lines coming down from. And then I'm getting out some gelatos. I haven't used gelatos here on this channel. I'm not a big fan of gelatos, but a lot of people love them and they do some interesting things. So I thought I'd show them to you if you're interested in seeing what they can do. And this is a really simple application of them. So I wanted to put the red section over here on the left, which is the all about me side. So when I am all about me, I'm in the red zone. I need to be more about Jesus. And these gelatos are like lipstick. Different gelatos, like the brands, as well as different gelato colors will react a little bit differently. So they're not all gonna be identical. I even found that, that I'll show you in the, the green color. The red melted pretty nicely with water. So it, it worked fairly well. It takes a little more work than some things sometimes. Depends on sometimes how dry your gelatos are as well. There's a lot of factors, but these are water-based, like a sort of a pastel-y kind of thing, uh, but they're water-soluble. There's another brand that I've used a lot before, but they don't seem to sell it anymore. And again, they're called oil pastels, but they are water-soluble. So if you find any pastels, that are oil pastels, make sure they're water soluble. You don't want the other kind because they stay sticky. These, once you turn them into watercolor, then they just act like watercolor. It feels like watercolor on your page. And here you can see I'm struggling a little bit to try to get this color to melt out a little bit. Have to work a little harder on this one, but it's still gonna be just fine in the long run. But for, uh, for getting the color on the page, it's super easy because it's like coloring with lipstick. And the sticky note just helps me to keep that line straight and that, that edge as a hard edge. Once those are both dry, then I put sticky notes on the both of them and I made the center section yellow. And again, just going on like lipstick. This one was more buttery, so it was a little softer than the green one. The green one was the driest on the ones I had. And then I'm using a baby wipe. You can also use a baby wipe to move this because remember it's water-based and any of our water-based watercolor pencils or watercolor, I've told you time and again, I use baby wipes for a lot of it because baby wipes are my friend when it comes to Bible journaling because it doesn't put as much water onto the page. That's one of the big reasons I love them. So here I'm going to put some other color around it because I wanted something other than just white on the page. So I'm just scribbling on some of the light blue and then taking the baby wipe to spread that color out. And you can see how thin these can get. They can be very, very light. So you can get an overall pale tone on your page with just a few swipes of one of these gelatos. And as always, I have links in the doobly-doo or in the description down below for all of my supplies for each one of my videos. So if you're ever wondering what I used or which Bible I did something in, this one is a large print Bible. Um, I always link the, the supplies that I use for that particular video and then all of the other stuff that I like to use. So if you're looking for what it, what it is that I like to use in my Bible journaling, then that's all in the doobly-doo. So I ironed it, which I ironed like, you know, just a couple seconds on like cotton setting and then started putting in my text. Uh, the green part is when I'm mostly like Jesus, which is not very often. <laughs> the red part is when I'm mostly like me. And then the middle is a range, letting go of me and being more like Jesus. And I didn't plan my text out very well because I kind of got squishy at the end. And I marked where I think I am right now in my, in my walk with the Lord. 
and different points in my life, that's going to, that little dial is going to be at different places. But the goal is always to aim to that green and be more like Jesus, share with more people like he would, love people like he would, and treat people like he would. Because that's what he wants us to do. He wants us to love each other. Thanks so much for spending a few minutes with me. I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.